Yo, what's up? It's New Year's 2017 in Osaka, Japan. And you know what that means, you guys? It's party! Yeah, sorry. Just joking. New Year's in Japan. It's kind of a family thing. Let's go. Yeah, New Year's in Japan. Not really a party time. My first New Year's in Japan, I was a little bit disappointed. I remember walking around town as it got close to midnight looking for a great party and being thoroughly disappointed as I found the town to be really quiet. Now, behind me here, you can see some of the things that actually are part of New Year's in Japan. Uh, for example, right here, we've got this little monkey. Each year, you've got your different year of a different animal. This year coming up will be Year of the Rooster. Every year, you usually buy one of these little statues, just kind of like a talisman, a votive for good luck. And one of these little arrows, too. You usually switch those out. You actually return them to the temple. I'm not completely sure why you do that and then get a new one, and again, it's a talisman for good luck for the rest of the year. Let's move on to a couple other things that are good luck and good charms for the whole year to keep you safe, healthy, and organized. Yes, organization is a big part of Japanese culture. Here's another little votive or lucky charm or talisman I call the Mochi Mountain or Mochi Temple or Mochi Fortress. These are pretty much an offering to the gods. A lot of the Shinto gods and their statues will have tons of these set out for them. But families eat these too. Uh, you can see we have a fake Mikan on the top, but usually they do have real Mikans. Inside here you're probably wondering, what is that white mountain? Well, that is mochi, which is pounded rice. Pretty much made to be into a wonderful sugary snack. You usually cook it up in a conventional oven and uh, it tastes great. It's great to eat. It's very gooey, very sticky. And man, when it comes out of that oven, it is like molten lava. Let it cool down before you pop it into your mouth, people. Guys, this is crazy. So I'm making this video in the middle of it. I walk past and here is a mochi pounding and they're making the mochi right now. You're seeing how it's done. And if this guy would move out of my camera and not stand right in front of it, that would be great. Now I'm gonna have to stand up and move. I always wonder if anybody ever gets their fingers slammed when this happens, and then the mochi turns pink and that's where pink mochi comes from. Just my theory. A mochi theory. That was really bad. I gotta edit that chick out. Maki, do you want to eat that mochi? Do you want to run in there and just grab big handfuls and shove it in your tiny little baby mouth? Oh, let's go do it. Oh no, my son got distracted on the way. Alright, which one are we doing? Oh, of course, Common Rider. Here we go. Let's do it. Thank you. How much? Juen? I think it's a little bit more than Juen, my friend. That's Nihakuen. Nihakuen. Okay. <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on. Grabbing you some change. Hold on, buddy. Alright, can you do the coins yourself? What do you think, yeah? Okay, I'm gonna give you the money. Only take Nihaku, don't take more than that. Okay, you, there's one. Alright. Wait, wait, you need two, you need two. Take another one. No, 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 that's go Goju, that's Goju. No, that's Goju. Without the hole, with no hole, no hole. Yes, good boy. All right. 
And this is the gotcha, gotcha, gotcha sound. When you turn this knob, it's gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. No, 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 you're going wrong way. Ready, okay, good, good. You can do it, you can do it. Here you go, ready? Put your hand in there. Grab it out, only tiny hands can get those. You got it? Did you get it? Uh, uh, almost, almost. Ah, it's mine. I'm just joking, I'm sorry. Daddy, what okay, let's go, we gotta cross, we gotta cross. <laughs> Alright, let's see what it is, okay? Can you open it yourself? Mm -hmm. They look like they're hard to open, I don't know. Mm, I'll get in the... Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the key. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry, what is it? It's this. Oh, okay. Um, it's the cross for the after. Oh, that's right, they put them in their belt, right? Oh, you know better than me. Okay. okay. Here, you hold the egg. That's going to be What is it? It's this. It's good. Cool, dude. You're going to put them in your belt and then transform, Hanshin. Do it, ready? One, two, three, transform. Okay, we're here at Big Camera, let's go. Okay, so unfortunately for this part, the sound was so bad in the mall that I had to re-record over it, and we're just going to talk about what this is you're seeing right now. These are grab bag deals, pretty much bags full of stuff that you don't know what it is, but you know the cost of what it is. So for example, you're seeing Yonsen, Yonhaku, Hachijuen, uh, Isen, Kyuhaku, Hachijuen. This is what the estimated cost of the stuff that's put into the grab bag is and the deal that you're getting. You're seeing pictures on here, but you're not necessarily going to get these things. So you're taking a chance. It's the roulette table. It's the gambling of purchasing. Myself, personally, I never buy one of these. I've seen times where people buy these and they get like five of the same things because they're like, well, five of these is worth this amount of money, so you got them. It's pretty much anything that didn't sell very well in the store. You can see stuff in here like a portable DVD player, which not sure why you would need that anymore with uh, MP4s on, you know, any kind of player anywhere, any kind of pad, iPad, iPod. I don't know why you would need a portable DVD player and bring your pack of DVDs with you. That would be funny. Um, but, you know, old people in Japan, they love that stuff. Uh, you got other stuff like, oh, look, it's a beautiful hair blow dryer set and a curling iron. Sweet, just what every guy wanted. Um, a Roomba from 1998. Awesome. It's the very first Roomba ever created. And do you want that? So that's what you take a chance on. If these are things that you think you might really want and you want to gamble and see if you get them, then these bags are for you, my friend. If not, be like me and don't purchase any of this stuff. Next up, we have what I describe as a New Year's wreath. Now, of course, in Japan, we don't have a Christmas wreath as a common theme, nor Christmas trees as a common theme during the Christmas season, but New Year's gets a lot more respect to the point that it gets its very own wreath. These are usually hung on the door outside of your house and they're not put up until New Year's Day, so that's why I've still got mine in the package here. We're a couple days away, and putting it up before then would be kind of a bad omen. Not a good thing to do. Don't do it. That, that pretty much ends it for us. It's the end of the day, and all day I have been cleaning after I went shopping with my little boy. And the reason for that is another New Year's tradition here in Japan is cleaning. You need to get everything clean before for New Year's Day. Usually people finally do get a little bit of vacation and time off. I can uh, definitely uh, confirm that with the amount of people I saw at the mall today um, and people getting ready to go to temple and all kinds of stuff like that. It, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, 
what I will say is the reason that cleaning is such an important tradition in Japan before New Year's comes is kind of because you got to turn over that new leaf. You got to get ready to get that year nice and clean. You've gotten disorganized all over all of 2016. You made clutter here and there. Even me myself, I made a lot of clutter. I went out to Muji today. Uh, I don't know if you know Muji, uh, and I bought myself a, a big old box. And that's so I can just be. I can still be lazy, but I can hide it in a box. Um, so I will continue to do that cleaning. Maybe I'll do a whole shot of my place after it's been cleaned because, man, when this man cleans, he cleans hardcore. It's coffee and then clean, clean, clean. That's what I do. Um, I, I actually, I love to clean. I love to clean. I clean so much that my wife eventually starts to say, Scott, stop, sit down. Christ. Um, yeah, so I, I kind of, uh, maybe a little bit OCD there. I guess kind of in a good way. Well, kind of. I'm not like Mark Summers wake up in the middle of the night and iron my carpet. You know what I mean? Um, but I, I love to clean. I love to clean. That, that comes from my mom and dad. Uh, they're very, very well organized, especially my dad. If, if he could hover over the carpet and not put footprints in it, he would do that. If he had some sort of power that allowed him to do that, I think he would do that. Um, uh, then cleaning, you're doing it because you're turning over a new leaf. I'm trying to stay on track here and not go off on tangents. And uh, you're getting ready for the new year. You should do that. It'll also bring you good luck. So if you want to take part in this tradition in your own country, maybe you'll get a little J-luck coming your way. You have to have your house like super organized and clean. Clean under, I'm talking clean like under the couch. Like I'm talking like lift up that big ass couch and clean under it. You know, try to sweep out all that stuff with the swifter picker upper underneath your closets and stuff like that. Um, you know, clean your Gencon. That's super important. If you don't know what the Gencon is, that's where you drop off all your shoes before you come into the house. Mega important because you're dragging the dirt of the dead into your house every time you wipe your shoes there. I don't know if you know that, but that's why people take their shoes off before they enter a house in Japan because they're like, yo, why track in the dirt where we bury people? You know, pretty reasonable, I think. Anyway, guys, if you liked what you saw here today, thank you so much. I hope you subscribe. I hope you comment. I hope you like. I hope you like. I hope you like. Can we get 5,000 million billion likes? I gotta calm down. I do have neighbors. Um, for this video. <laughs> um, I have had a bit of a rough year, but it got amazing near the end here. Uh, um... I just got over 60k subs now, and I'm I'm freaking out. That's why you're probably like Scott. You seem so happy in this. Way. I am happy. Um, I'm about to open a new business in 2017. My channel's doing awesome. You guys are awesome. Uh, I'm loving the way I'm creating videos now with this whole new editing, chopping up things, not just me standing in front of a computer. Um, why didn't I do this? Why didn't I do this before? Um, I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I was lazy. I was lazy. Let's just, let's put it on lazy. Let's say, Scott, you damn lazy bastard. The only reason you didn't have this before is because you were too lazy. Well, no more lazy. That Scott's gone. He's thrown away with the year 2016 and 2015. was a bad year. That was a bad year. That was a bad year. And um, I'm ready. I'm ready to just bulldoze into 2017 along with you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Help out this video by sharing. If you like what you saw here today, I'm so happy. Let me know, and I'll make more just like this. Until next time, I am unrested. With the questions you requested, this is Walk and Talk JFAC. You guys have a wonderful New Year's.